guys, welcome back to Shea Crest Unleashed. Feed the beast. Feed the beast. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work here in the base. Let's go down and check some stuff out. Um, we're still having issues with our force engine. I think maybe I have figured some of it out. I have. Trapped me some cows down here. Moo cow moo. Moo cow moo. Anyway, this is a rancher. Um, harvesting the cow milk. And now we are getting. Well, that's not producing. Find it when it's producing. Anyway, it's making 10. <coughs> excuse me, 10 MJ per tick. So if you notice, this is going down just a little bit. And. There they go. No. Oh, off again. <laughs> Let's see here, give it one second. It might show us here. Ah, heck with it. Anyway, it's making 10 MJ per tick now with the milk. So that has helped. But the other thing that has been killing it that I didn't even know until I watched another video. <clears throat> all these lasers draw power all the time, whether they're not making um, gates or chips or anything. They draw like a minimal power. So the more you have, the more it's drawing. And this thing here was just constantly draining. Look. See how fast that's draining? It's not even making lasers. It's not even making anything. So what I did was I just turned it off right there. And then when we need to use it, I'll just come down here and turn that on. And then let it fill up a little bit. And then let it go to town. Because that was wasting huge amounts of MJ. You can see that right there going like crazy so that should help us quite a bit then the other thing that I did was I upgraded this to from an electrolyzer to industrial electric <coughs> can't say that industrial electrolyzer and the reason why is that bauxite we found um, I put it in the macerator so you get four for every one if you put it oops in the macerator here and then I put an overclocker and a transformer upgrade in it so we could use uh, power draw power directly from the MF from another MFSU right here now the box site the reason why you put it in there is to get the titanium so to do anything with the titanium you need this little beauty right here industrial blast furnace which I did use a lot of steel making that and that's what the initial use for our coke ovens and blast furnaces were to make steel and well we made some aluminum ingots out of it anyway <laughs> but um, that's what we made this for uh, to get the steel to make other things well now we have this industrial blast furnace here so we put the titanium powder in here made ingots and and why did we do that well if you look here at a quarry we need a diamond drill so it takes two titanium plates right here and and a mining drill which is what we are going to make right now hopefully I got everything prepared and all that stuff and I'll show you I got everything broke down into the individual steps so we can go over this fairly easily um, I do have some item tesseracts and some energy tesseracts so I might be able to set this up. Um, I'm not quite sure. Oh, over here. Okay, so the first thing we are going to need is that mining drill right there. So I believe in this chest here. Yeah. Well, I had some steel plates in here. Maybe I put them over here. Oh. I know I put some, just had some. Huh. That's odd. Did I put them in here? I could have swore I, j I just made some, just five of them, just for this. Are they still in the rolling machine, maybe? That's crazy. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> there they are. I knew I made them. I was going in 
insane. <laughs> Losing my mind. All right, so diamond drill. We are going to need a RE battery, which takes these ten plates, which you just put in a rolling machine. Redstone and copper. So we're gonna need one of those. Okay. Then over here we are going to need. I need some cables here. We're going to need a circuit, which I didn't need to make that one, but whatever. You can always use circuits, right? So if we take these, like that, circuit here, RE battery, no, backwards. RE battery and a circuit. There we go. Mining drill. So let's take that mining drill. Click on that, you need a cold chunk per diamond and put it in the compressor. Um, no, you don't need to do that right there. Get back to that. Okay, there's a cold chunk. And then to get a cold chunk, you need compressed coal balls, eight of them, around obsidian, iron, or bricks. And let's get back to there. And to get compressed coal balls, you need a coal ball, which is cold dust surrounding uh, a piece of flint. So you can see it's it's a little bit of a pain in the butt and you go through quite a bit of coal but hey, it's free diamonds. What can you say? So the circuit down here, the two titanium plates there. Oh, I think it's an advanced circuit. Oh, we gotta start over. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Two titanium plates at the bottom, the mining drill, and where are we at? Oh yeah, industrial diamonds. So, voila! Hey, okay. Some recipes don't work in this work table, so we gotta just take everything and do it in. I'm gonna do it over here in that crafting terminal. Get that, put that in there. No, nope, that there, that there. There we go. There we go. Get that out of there. You don't have any in there. So I'll go ahead and put these back in here. Now for the quarry itself, we're gonna need two diamond gears, uh, two gold gears, and some steel gears. So I have most of that set up. I think I gotta grab another set of diamonds. Yeah. Which we got quite a bit still. So, okay, we're going to need three of these steel gears. Two and three. Alright, then we're going to need two of the gold gears, but to make those, we're going to need to make iron gears and stone gears, and then start off with wooden gears. So, one, two, three, four, because we're going to need two gold and two diamond. And then we're going to one, two, three, four of those, and then a gold. Nope, oh, skipped them. And then turn all these to iron, I believe. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh oh. I shorted, shorted this on some iron. There we go. And there. Okay. And then we need to get two of them that are gold. So one, two. And two of them that are diamond, which might require gold gears. I think so. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just go ahead and make two more of these. Miscounted everything, didn't I? Nope, don't need any. I do have them already programmed into my uh, crafting stuff, but I thought we'd just do it this way so you guys could see it all laid out. And then we take these, put them in there, put diamonds on them, and then we need one, 
two of those. Okay, so there's our steel gears, our diamond gears, and our gold gears. So let's look at this one more time. And we need an advanced circuit, which we already have. Okay. Advanced circuit there. Diamond gears here. And gold. And... I'm forgetting some. We forgetting. What are we forgetting? <laughs> oh, shoot! Forgot the steel gears. Duh. Yeah, let's get those out of there for now. And the quarry. Yay! Okay, so if we come over here, I think I have enough stuff to set up a quarry. I have item tesseracts here. And. some energy tesseracts. Hmm. Right, so where do I have those? Oh, yeah, I know where they're at. I got one here and one down on the farms. So, it's probably going to keep those since it would be such a long run down to the farms here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get back with you. I'm going to make a couple more of these energy tesseracts. And we're going to find a place to set that quarry up. Um, let me see here. Yeah. We, I made a, um, an extra 64K storage unit. So it's 0 of 63 types and 0 of 6,500 bytes, I guess. That one's not full. That one's almost full. And that one's full of types, anyway. So we have one empty... Um, storage cell to use for our quarry. So hopefully it won't be spilling out all over the ground. But to do that, I'm going to have to set some stuff up over here. I'm going to need a... Well, we'll just go ahead and take this ender chest off here for now. And then I can put the... Item tesseract here. Okay, and then set that to quarry and signal at 618 just because I do. I don't know why, but we're going to save frequency and set it and then configuration uh, receive only and by the owner. That should be good there. Okay, I'm going to cut back in a minute. I'm going to get uh, a couple of energy tesseracts set up. Actually, just one, I think. Yeah, one will do it. And find a place to set this up, and I'll show you how we set it up. So, catch you guys in just a bit. Alright, guys, and we're back. Over here in the... Um, what do they call this? Biome? Yeah, the Grove biome. This is where we were when we found all that bauxite. So I figured, why not somewhere around in here? Um, yeah, I think this will be just fine. I thought about just coming over here all the way over in this corner right there. And that way we would catch some of that um, quarried stone, I guess that's what that's called. We'll need some of that too while we're here. That way we would catch some of that and we can use that for building and trimming up our base later. Um, I want to go ahead and you see we're on that elevation right there. I want to get up a couple at least and put it right right about there. Let's go up three. We'll go up three. Yeah, let's go up three. Make it easier on us. Let the quarry do the work. Um, well, I forgot. This is normally what I do here. I'm going to set one right there. I'm going to place that blue torch, which is a landmark. Now, you make those um, with the redstone torch, 
and you add a piece of lapis to it and it makes a landmark. So there's that. But now if you want to lay out your quarry to be specific, and we want to lay ours out to be as big as it can, it's 64 by 64. So to do that, I am going to use that landmark and place a redstone torch and you see it makes a line in all directions um, 64 blocks long. So if we follow this over to here and of course we're going to end up in a ditch there. And let's see if I get it right. Yeah. And then place our other blue torch here. place this redstone torch like that and it makes another 64 blocks and then continue the process until we get this whole thing um, cubed in. Now I'm not sure if you have to do it this way but this is how I do it. Um, it seems like it always works better for me if I did it this way. So, <laughs> I should have grabbed a bunch of those uh, stone over there, but that's alright. Alright, now you see that this made a corner over here, so we are boxed in now. Perfect. Now we'll set that there, and set that there. Now if you right click that torch after you set these four out, it turns to red. Okay? Now what I do is, come over here, it doesn't matter which one I guess, but this is where I want to set it for now, and get the quarry, I'm going to break this one, and place my quarry down, it should recognize that cube, ready, there we go, keeps 25 chunks loaded, it busted this torch, and it should have busted the other ones, Expensive, but I go around and pick them up anyway. Uh, the only one it didn't break is that one over there. So we will know here in just a moment when we give this thing some power. Ouch. Okay, good work. Get that thing out of the rabbit hole, it's it. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna leave that one there just in case. inside that square it'll eat it up so let's set the energy test rack here off to the side set it to receive only owner only and si is mj power and there it goes it's making the quarry <laughs> so and this may take a little bit because that little guy right there has to clear out everything with the dirt basically he'll, he'll clear out the trees the wood the grass um, everything now he when this gets down to certain items it's gonna be spitting out the top so to prevent that now one thing I like to do just so I can see the items moving I grab a golden pipe and I like to put uh, two on top and this uh, yeah item test rack and we'll plop it down here set that to quarry and then owner only there we go and make sure you put this as send only there we go so now when items are coming out of this quarry we can physically see it going into the test rack we know no funny business is going on um, you can sit this directly on top <coughs> excuse me directly on top of that quarry um, but this is kind of a reassurance for me that everything's running right. So, as soon as this thing's done, we'll have uh, some stuff start going through here. Um, one thing I did back at the base, I set our squeezer up where it gets force logs. I set it up so that it, it will see... <clears throat> can't talk right now. It will receive um, 
the force gems so that theoretically as long as we're keeping keep getting force gems from the quarry we shouldn't have any power issues theoretically <laughs> if that does happen we will um, get him go I'm building the frame <laughs> if that does happen we will look into uh, some kind of energy bridge and you can see the things building pretty fast look at him go I think he's gonna build now he's got to clear some grass out too as he goes see it there so he slowed down just a bit um, there he goes again the benefit of putting this kind of higher above ground is you do get some logs in the middle of the way there he goes now he's gonna make the upper quarry there he goes moving pretty good building wise as soon as he gets this done, he's gonna um, the cross members I think automatically show up and just start mining. Yeah, look at it go, look at it go. I have to keep an eye on um, everything at the base because I think I think that the room I have in the ME system is gonna be just fine. Um, but if not, everything's on a chunk loader, so. Um, this area is chunk loaded, including the quarry and a little bit like right here. It doesn't do a whole lot. It does like maybe one chunk, maybe. If that, it, it probably does less than one chunk. Um, there it goes. Mining away. <laughs> of course, it's not all rendered in, so it's no big deal. It's going to mine elevation wise everything first. Uh, and then once everything gets leveled off, it'll be you know straight back and forth lines. So, yeah, there it goes. I'd like to see some stuff start coming through here just to make sure everything's working right before we go. Come on. Get some, oh, they're one piece, they're one log. You see that? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think I just seen something else. Dang it, I keep missing it. Here, let's look now. Come on, there it goes. Okay, good. Everything's working right. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna cut it here. Let this quarry work, and then um, when we come back in the next episode. We should have plenty of materials to work with, and um, I'm very interested in making some solar panels so we can get off the lava source in the nether. Um, that would be awesome. But I think I'm going to try to automate um, bauxite production um, just to speed things up because standing there and feeding machines is, is pretty damn boring. So I guess I'm going to get off here. I'll see you guys later. Um, check me out on shadecrest.com, um, or you can that shadecrest.com should give you all the information for all the servers. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys around. Peace out.